Al Pacino American actor Alfredo James Pacino is an American actor. Considered one of the greatest and most influential actors of the 20th century, Pacino has received numerous accolades including an Academy Award, two Tony Awards, and two Primetime Emmy Awards, achieving the triple crown of acting. Wikipedia Born, April 25, 1940, age 84 years, East Harlem, New York, United States. Height, 1.68 meters. Children, Julie Marie Pacino, Olivia Pacino, Anton James Pacino. Nationality, American. Awards, Academy Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role, View More. Full Name, Alfredo James Pacino. Nominations, Academy Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role. Alfredo James El Pacino established himself as a film actor during one of cinema's most vibrant decades, the 1970s, and has become an enduring and iconic figure in the world of American movies. He was born April 25, 1940, in Manhattan, New York City, to Italian-American parents, Rose, Ney Girardi, and Sal Pacino. They divorced when he was young. His mother moved them into his grandparents' home in the South Bronx. Pacino found himself often repeating the plots and voices of characters he had seen in the movies. Bored and unmotivated in school, he found a haven in school plays, and his interest soon blossomed into a full-time career. Starting on stage, he went through a period of depression and poverty, sometimes having to borrow bus fare to succeed to auditions. He made it into the prestigious actor's studio in 1966, studying under Lee Strasberg creator of the method approach that would become the trademark of many 1970s-era actors. After appearing in a string of plays and supporting roles, Pacino finally attained success off-Broadway with Israel Horowitz's The Indian Wants the Bronx, winning an Obie Award for the 1966-67 season. That was followed by a Tony Award for Does the Tiger Wear a Necktie? His first feature films made little departure from the gritty realistic stage performances that earned him respect. He played a drug addict in The Panic in Needle Park, 1971, after his film debut in Me, Natalie, 1969. The role of Michael Corleone in The Godfather, 1972, was one of the most sought after of the time. Robert Redford, Warren Beatty, Jack Nicholson, Ryan O'Neill, Robert De Niro, and a host of other actors either wanted it or were mentioned, but director Francis Ford Coppola wanted Pacino for the role. Coppola was successful, but Pacino was reportedly in constant fear of being fired during the very difficult shoot. The film was a monster hit that earned Pacino his first Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. However, instead of taking on easier projects for the big money he could now command, Pacino threw his support behind what he considered tough but important films, such as the true-life crime drama Sir Pico, 1973, and the tragic real-life bank robbery film Dog Day Afternoon, 1975. He was nominated three consecutive years for the Best Actor Academy Award. He faltered slightly with Bobby Deerfield, 1977, but regained his stride with Injustice for All, 1979, for which he received another Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Unfortunately, this would signal the beginning of a decline in his career, which produced flops like Cruising, 1980, and author. Author. 1982, Pacino took on another vicious gangster role and cemented his legendary status in the ultraviolent cult film Scarface, 1983, but a monumental mistake was about to follow. Revolution, 1985, endured an endless and seemingly cursed shoot in which equipment was destroyed, weather was terrible, and Pacino fell ill with pneumonia. Constant changes in the script further derailed the project. The revolutionary war-themed film, considered among the worst films ever made, resulted in awful reviews and kept him off the screen for the next four years. Returning to the stage, Pacino did much to give back and contribute to the theater, which he considers his first love. He directed a film, The Local Stigmatic, 1990, but it remains unreleased. He lifted his self-imposed exile with The Striking Sea of Love, 1989, as a hard-drinking policeman. This marked the second phase of Pacino's career, being the first to feature his now-famous dark, all-eyes, and hoarse, gravelly voice.
Returning to the Corleones, Pacino made The Godfather Part 3, 1990, and earned raves for his first comedic role in the colorful adaptation Dick Tracy, 1990. This earned him another Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor, and two years later, he was nominated for Glengarry Glen Ross, 1992. He went into romantic mode for Frankie and Johnny, 1991. In 1992, he finally won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his amazing performance in Scent of a Woman, 1992. A mixture of technical perfection, he plays a blind man, and charisma, the role was tailor-made for him, and remains a classic. The next few years would see Pacino becoming more comfortable with acting in movies as a business, turning out great roles in great films with more frequency and less of the demanding personal involvement of his wilder days. Carlito's Way, 1993, proved another gangster classic, as did the epic crime drama Heat, 1995, directed by Michael Mann and co-starring Robert De Niro. He directed the film adaptation of Shakespeare's Looking for Richard, 1996. During this period, City Hall, 1996, Donnie Brasco, 1997, and The Devil's Advocate, 1997, all came out. Reteaming with Mann and then Oliver Stone, he gave commanding performances in The Insider, 1999, and Any Given Sunday, 1999. In the 2000s, Pacino starred in a number of theatrical blockbusters, including Ocean's 13, 2007, but his choice in television roles, The Vicious, closeted Roy Cohn in the HBO miniseries Angels in America, 2003, and his sensitive portrayal of Jack Kevorkian, in the television movie You Don't Know Jack, 2010, are reminiscent of the bolder choices of his early career. Each television project garnered him an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Miniseries or a Movie. Never Wed, Pacino has a daughter, Julie Marie, with acting teacher Jan Tarrant, and a set of twins with former longtime girlfriend Beverly D'Angelo. His romantic history includes Jill Clayburg, Varushka von Lendorf, Carol Mallory, Deborah Winger, Tuesday Weld, Martha Keller, Carmen Cervera, Kathleen Quinlan, Lyndall Hobbs, Penelope Ann Miller and a two-decade intermittent relationship with Godfather co-star Diane Keaton. He currently lives with Argentinian actress Lucila Sola, who is 36 years his junior. As of 2022, Pacino is 82 years old. He has never retired from acting and continues to appear regularly in film. Family Children Julie Pacino Olivia Rose D'Angelo Anton James D'Angelo Roman Pacino Parents Sal Pacino Rose Pacino, Girardi Catherine Coven Pacino Relatives Roberta Pacino, half-sibling Paula Pacino, half-sibling Josette Pacino, half-sibling Desiree Pacino, half-sibling Trademarks Volcanic tirade, smoke-burnished voice Frequently plays men of power and or authority. Surly but essentially moral characters with deep capacity for violence. All eyes, with green slash gray irises, and central heterochromia. Diminutive frame, offset by his formidable bearing. Trivia. Is one of the few Hollywood stars who has never married. Pacino was rejected repeatedly by studio heads and frequently referred to as that midget Pacino by producers of The Godfather, 1972 who did not want him for the role of Michael Corleone in The Godfather, 1972, but Francis Ford Coppola fought for him. This film was shot briskly because both the director and the leading actor were in constant fear of being fired. Ironically, this turned out to be a breakthrough for both. Originally asked for $7 million for The Godfather Part 3, 1990, a figure that so enraged director Francis Ford Coppola that he threatened to write a new script that opened with Michael Corleone's funeral. Pacino settled for $5 million. Spoke three of the American Film Institute's 100 movie quotes, Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer, from The Godfather Part II, 1974, at number 58, Say Hello to My Little Friend, from Scarface, 1983, at number 61, and Attica. Attica, from Dog Day Afternoon, 1975, at number 86. Has suffered from chronic insomnia. Early in his acting career, 
he considered changing his name to Sonny Scott to avoid being typecast by his Italian name. Sonny was his childhood nickname. Alec Baldwin, who co-starred with Pacino in Glengarry Glen Ross, 1992, and Looking for Richard, 1996, wrote a 65-page final thesis on Pacino and method acting for his degree at New York University. Became a father for the second and third time at age 60 when his, now ex, partner Beverly D'Angelo gave birth to their twins Anton and Olivia Pacino on January 25, 2001. Had been friends with John Cazale since they were teenagers. They starred together in Dog Day Afternoon, 1975, The Godfather Part II, 1974, and The Godfather, 1972. Francis Ford Coppola asked Pacino to play Captain Willard in his film Apocalypse Now, 1979. Pacino politely turned down the offer, saying he would do anything for Francis, but he wouldn't go to war with him. Turned down Apocalypse Now, 1979, born on the 4th of July, 1989, Pretty Woman, 1990, and Crimson Tide, 1995. Pacino was so much into character, playing a plainclothes New York City policeman, while filming Sir Pico, 1973, he actually pulled over and threatened to arrest a truck driver for exhaust pollution. Stopped a two-pack-a-day smoking habit to protect his voice, 1994. In the mid-1980s, he had been smoking four packs of cigarettes a day. He now only occasionally smokes herbal cigarettes. For a short while, he was the only actor to be in the number one best and worst movie on IMDb, The Godfather, 1972, and Geely, 2003. When asked by the AFI, he named The Tree of Wooden Clogs, 1978, and Singin' in the Rain, 1952, as his favorite films. He and Chris Sarandon improvised their scene on the phone in the film Dog Day Afternoon, 1975. The voice of Mo the bartender from The Simpsons, 1989, was based on Pacino in Dog Day Afternoon, 1975. Won his first Academy Award 21 years after his first nomination. He and Jamie Foxx are two out of the only three actors to be nominated for an Academy Award for both Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor in the same year. Barry Fitzgerald did it first in 1945, Pacino was nominated in 1993 for Scent of a Woman, 1992, and Glengarry Glen Ross, 1992, slash Fox in 2005 for Ray, 2004, and Collateral, 2004. Both men won the Best Actor Award, and they both played blind men in their roles, Pacino as Frank Slade and Fox as Ray Charles got co-star Kevin Spacey, his first major role in a film. Pacino saw Spacey performing on Broadway and suggested him to the director of Glengarry Glen Ross, 1992, for the role of John Williamson. Was arrested, charged with carrying a concealed weapon. Lifetime member of the prestigious actor's studio. He was accepted into the studio in 1966, studying under legendary acting coach Lee Strasberg. Before becoming a professional actor, he held a number of jobs including a messenger, shoe salesman, supermarket checker, shoe shiner, furniture mover, office boy, fresh fruit polisher, and a newsboy. An avid fan of opera, Pacino once worked as an usher at Carnegie Hall. In a Playboy magazine interview, he claimed that he was fired from his job as a movie theater usher while walking down the staircase and admiring himself in the mirrored wall. Turned down the role of Han Solo in Star Wars, Episode 4 A New Hope, 1977, which went to Harrison Ford. His performance as Michael Corleone in The Godfather Part II, 1974, is ranked number 11 on the American Film Institute's 100 Heroes and Villains. Claims to have learned more about acting from friend John Cazale than from anybody else. Was director Brian Singer's first choice for the role of Dave Kugin in The Usual Suspects, 1995. Pacino passed on the role and has since stated that that is the role he regrets passing on the most. He has appeared in three films that have been selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. The Godfather, 1972, The Godfather Part II, 1974, and Dog Day Afternoon, 1975. After completing The Godfather, 1972, Pacino was so broke he actually owed a studio $15,000 so he never saw a paycheck for his work on that film.
is one of nine actors to have won the Triple Crown of Acting, an Oscar, Emmy, and Tony. The others in chronological order are Thomas Mitchell, Melvin Douglas, Paul Schofield, Jack Albertson, Jason Robards, Jeremy Irons, Jeffrey Rush, and Christopher Plummer. His performance as Sonny Wurtzik in Dog Day Afternoon, 1975, is ranked number four on Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Performances of All Time, 2006. Pacino has been a recovering alcoholic since the start of his career, as of 2019, has appeared in eight films that were nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, The Godfather, 1972, The Godfather Part II, 1974, Dog Day Afternoon, 1975, The Godfather Part Three, 1990, Scent of a Woman, 1992, The Insider, 1999, The Irishman, 2019, and Once Upon a Time. In Hollywood, 2019. Of those, The Godfather, 1972, and The Godfather Part Two, 1974, are winners in the category. His Oscar nomination for The Godfather, 1972, marked his first of four consecutive nominations, a feat he shares with Jennifer Jones, 1943-1946, Thelma Ritter, 1950-1953, Marlon Brando, 1951-1954, and Elizabeth Taylor, 1957-1960. Is a huge fan of Dick Van Dyke. Briefly worked as a stand-up comedian early in his career. During the making of The Recruit, 2003, he met and became close friends with Colin Farrell. He went on to call Farrell the most talented actor of his generation. Has been friends with HRH King Charles III, the Prince of Wales, for several years, and has stayed as his guest at Highgrove House. Is one of the few Razzie Award winners to have won an acting award for playing himself. He won Worst Supporting Actor for Jack and Jill, 2011. He was homeless for part of his early career and often slept on the street or in theaters. Larry King considers Pacino's appearance on his show Larry King Live, 1985, in November 1996 as one of his personal all-time favorite interviews. While Paramount Brass dithered over whether to cast him as Michael Corleone in The Godfather, 1972, the role that would make him a star, a frustrated Pacino signed up for the role of Mario Trantino in MGM's The Gang That Couldn't Shoot Straight. 1971, when Paramount finally decided to offer him the role in The Godfather, his binding contract with MGM had to be bought out. Starred as King Herod in Oscar Wilde's play Salome on Broadway in 1992 opposite Cheryl Lee, directed by Robert Allen Ackerman, and in 2003 opposite Marissa Tomei, directed by Estelle Parsons. He reprised the role opposite Jessica Chastain in 2006 in Los Angeles and in the documentary drama film Wild Salome, 2011, which Pacino also wrote and directed. Turned down the role of Ted Kramer in Kramer vs. Kramer, 1979, which went to Dustin Hoffman. His performance as Michael Corleone in The Godfather Part II, 1974, is ranked number 20 on Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Performances of All Time, 2006. Turned down the lead role of Roy Neary in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, which went to Richard Dreyfus. His performance in the Broadway play Does a Tiger Wear a Necktie won him a Tony Award for Best Dramatic Supporting Actor and a Drama Desk Award and Theatre World Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1969. Stated in an interview that the movie he most wanted to be in but could not get the role was Slapshot, 1977. Director George Roy Hill opted not to go with Pacino because he could not ice skate. Revealed to James Lipton on Inside the Actor's Studio, 1994, for the first time ever that his maternal grandfather was born in Corleone, Sicily, became a father for the first time at age 49 when his, now ex, partner Jan Tarrant gave birth to their daughter Julie Marie Pacino, a.k.a. Julie Pacino, on October 16, 1989. His performance as Tony Montana in Scarface, 1983, is ranked number 74 on Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Movie Characters of All Time. His performance as Frank Serpico in Serpico, 1973, is ranked number 40 on the American Film Institute's 100 Heroes and Villains. Grew up in the South Bronx, New York City, and attended the High School of the Performing Arts until he dropped out at age 17. Son of Sal Pacino, insurance agent, and Rose, Ney Girardi, Pacino, 
his maternal grandparents originate from Corleone, Sicily. His paternal grandparents originate from San Fratello, Sicily. Aside from his grandparents being from Corleone in Sicily, his real name Alfredo and childhood nickname Sonny are also indirect references to the names of his siblings in his breakthrough movie, The Godfather, Fredo and Sonny. Was voted the number one greatest movie star of all time in a Channel 4, UK, poll. In 2004, he became the 18th performer to win the Triple Crown of Acting, Oscar, Best Actor, Scent of a Woman, 1992, Tony, Best Supporting Actor Play, Does a Tiger Wear a Necktie? 1969, and Best Actor Play, The Basic Training of Pavlo Hummel, 1977, and Emmy, Best Actor Miniseries Slash Movie, Angels in America, 2003. Oscar-winning director John Schlesinger envisioned a cast of Pacino, Julie Christie, and Laurence Olivier for Marathon Man, 1976. Pacino has said that the only actress he had ever wanted to work with was Christie, who he claimed was the most poetic of actresses. Producer Robert Evans, who disparaged the vertically challenged Pacino as the midget when Francis Ford Coppola wanted him for The Godfather, 1972, and had thought of firing him during the early shooting of the now-classic film, vetoed Pacino for the lead. Instead, Evans insisted on the casting of the even shorter Dustin Hoffman. On her part, Christie, who was notoriously finicky about accepting roles, even in prestigious, surefire material, turned down the female lead, which was then taken by Martha Keller, who, ironically, became Pacino's lover after co-starring with him in Bobby Deerfield, 1977. Of his dream cast, Schlesinger only got Olivier, who was nominated for a Best Supporting Actor Oscar. Pacino has yet to co-star with Christie. Is an avid fan of William Shakespeare, Hamlet being his favorite play. Is one of only six actors to be nominated for an Oscar for playing the same role in two films. He was nominated as for The Godfather, 1972, and The Godfather Part II, 1974. The others are Paul Newman as Fast Eddie Felsen in The Hustler, 1961, and The Color of Money, 1986, Bing Crosby as Father O'Malley in Going My Way, 1944, and The Bells of St. Mary's, 1945, Peter O'Toole as Henry II in Beckett, 1964, and The Lion in Winter, 1968, Kate Blanchett as Elizabeth I in Elizabeth, 1998, and Elizabeth, The Golden Age, 2007, and Sylvester Stallone in Rocky, 1976, and Creed, 2015. However, Al Pacino is the only one of these for whom both performances were in different films that won Best Picture. Won the Best Actor Obie, awarded for the Best Off-Broadway Performances, for The Indian Wants the Bronx, 1968. Was also nominated for a Best Actor Obie for Why is a Crooked Letter, 1966. Imprinted his hands and signature in cement at Grauman's Chinese Theater on November 16, 1997. Although he played Morgana King and Marlon Brando's son in The Godfather, 1972, he is only 10 and 16 years their junior respectively. Split with girlfriend of 10 years, Lucila Sola, in 2018. This was the second time they'd separated, following a brief breakup and patch-up in 2015. Studied at the Herbert Berghoff, H.B., Studio, H.B. Studio, where he met acting teacher Charlie Lawton, not to be confused with Charles Lawton, who became his mentor and best friend. He was awarded the 2011 American National Medal of the Arts for his services to drama on February 13, 2012 at the White House in Washington, D.C. As the Best Supporting Actor Oscar is announced and awarded before the Best Actor Award, he won his first Oscar on this 8th Acting Academy Award nomination, when he was given the Best Actor Award for his performance in Scent of a Woman, 1992, making him the male actor with the most nominations required for his first win. This is the same number as required for the female record holder, Geraldine Page, turned down the role of Michael Corleone in the Godfather video game. He was voted the 41st greatest movie star of all time by Entertainment Weekly has a production company called Chow Productions. The CHs in tribute his friend Charlie Lawton, not the actor Charles Lawton, while the Al is for himself. Ranked number 4 in Empire, UK, Magazine's The Top 100 Movie Stars of All Time list. 
He studied acting at HB Studio in Greenwich Village, New York City. Lived with Jill Clayburgh, 1967-1972, Premiere Magazine ranked him as number 37 on a list of the greatest movie stars of all time in their Stars in Our Constellation feature, 2005. Has worked with nine directors who have won a Best Director Academy Award, Francis Ford Coppola, Sidney Pollack, William Friedkin, Warren Beatty, Oliver Stone, Steven Soderbergh, Barry Levinson, Mike Nichols, and Martin Scorsese. When cast in the lead for Infamous, 2006, Albert Finney was coached by Al Pacino in creating a Bronx accent for his role. Was offered the role of Harvey Dent slash Two-Face on Batman, the animated series, 1992, which went to Richard Mall. Two of his ex-girlfriends, Diane Keaton and Tuesday Weld, played sisters in Looking for Mr. Goodbar, 1977. Resides in Beverly Hills, California and Palisades, New York. Won two Tony Awards, as Best Supporting or Featured Actor, Dramatic, for Does a Tiger Wear a Necktie? 1969, and as Best Actor, Play, for The Basic Training of Pavel Hummel, 1977. Pacino was mentioned, along with many other celebrities, in Bette Midler's list song, Samedi E.T. Vendredi, on the album, Songs for the New Depression, 1976. At one point, David Cronenberg was in line to direct the film The Singing Detective, 2003, with Pacino in the lead. Is one of 12 actors to have been nominated for both a supporting and lead acting Academy Award in the same year. The other 10 are Barry Fitzgerald, Faye Bainter, Teresa Wright, Jessica Lange, Sigourney Weaver, Emma Thompson, Holly Hunter, Julianne Moore, Jamie Foxx, Kate Blanchett, and Scarlett Johansson. Pacino was the second male actor after Fitzgerald, to have been nominated for both a Best Supporting Actor and a Best Actor Oscar in the same year, the third is Fox, who was nominated for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor in 2005. During his youth, he aspired to become a baseball player. Turned down the role of Richard Sherman for a remake of The Seven Year Itch, 1955, which was never filmed. Over the ending credits of Tristram Shandy, 2005, the two stars, Steve Coogan and Rob Britton, compete at doing Pacino impressions. Former New York Deputy Mayor Ken Lipper was one of Pacino's classmates in school. Is the stepson of actress and makeup artist Catherine Coven Pacino. Has four sisters and half-sisters, Josette, a teacher, twins Roberta Pacino and Paula, and Desiree, whom Pacino's father adopted with his fourth wife worked in the mailroom of Commentary magazine. Despite the fact that he starred in The Resistible Rise of Arturo Ui for off-Broadway scale pay, the minimum salary allowed by Actors' Equity, the production had the highest ticket price in off-Broadway history at $100 per ticket. During the early 1980s, Pacino tried unsuccessfully to develop a biographical film on Amadeo Modigliani. One critical acclaim for his role of a junkie in his film debut in Needle Park, which was an entry on the 1971 Cannes Film Festival. Along with Barry Fitzgerald and Sylvester Stallone, he is one of only three actors to receive Oscar nominations for both Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor for playing the same character. 1. Fitzgerald was nominated for both awards for playing Father Fitzgibbon in Going My Way, 1944. 2. Pacino was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for playing Michael Corleone The Godfather, 1972, and Best Actor for the same role in The Godfather Part II, 1974, and, 3. Stallone was nominated for Best Actor for playing Rocky Balboa in Rocky, 1976, and Best Supporting Actor for the same role in Creed, 2015. However, Al Pacino is the only one of these for whom both performances were in different films that won Best Picture. Along with Faye Bainter, Teresa Wright, Barry Fitzgerald, Jessica Lange, Sigourney Weaver, Holly Hunter, Emma Thompson, Julianne Moore, Jamie Foxx, and Kate Blanchett, he is one of only 11 actors to receive Academy Award nominations in two acting categories in the same year. He was nominated for Best Actor for Scent of a Woman, 1992, and Best Supporting Actor for Glengarry Glenn Ross, 1992, at the 65th Academy Awards in 1993, winning the former award. Fathered a son, at age 83, the Kuwaiti girlfriend Noor al 29, was a longtime member of David Wheeler's Theatre Company of Boston, 
for which he performed in Richard III in Boston from December 1972 to January 1973 and at the Court Theatre.